leaving. I'm leaving after this period. In fact, officially, I'm not getting paid for this period right here. You're welcome. Leave. Scalpel! Shh. Hey, this is that part where you have to shut your face holes. The scalpel! Yeah, that's right. That means I'm actually grumpy. I'll kick you out and you don't even know. We'll go backwards, start with number three. The scalpel is a very, very, very dangerous tool. It's a precision tool. You need to be very careful when you're using it. Common misconception about all blades. If it's not a serrated edge, it's not meant for sawing back and forth. That goes for kitchen knives, all that stuff. The scalpel blade is non-serrated. When you use it, you want to just follow your same line. If you don't get the cut the first time, just follow that same line. The scalpel blades are preposterously sharp. You know how I know they're sharp? Touch yourself. Everybody always says that, but no, I've never cut myself with a scalpel yet. The package that the blades came in said surgical scalpel blade on it. Mm -hmm. These are literally the same blades that surgeons would use to cut you open. Yeah. They're yeah. brand new. I just put them on yesterday after school. Sweet. Didn't, right. cut, myself didn't cut myself. It's dangerous. So be really careful. When you're not using it, don't use it to point at stuff. That's what the probe's for. See this with the probe in? All right, point yourself with your probe. Don't point at anything with the scalpel. When you're not using the scalpel, it should be down with the blade facing towards the metal side of your tray. That being said, they're really fragile because they're so thin. That's what makes them sharp. If you accidentally break one, I need to know immediately. My second year teaching, kid left a broken scalpel blade just sitting all broken in pieces. Shards of dangerous metal sitting on the lab bench. I failed the whole class. If you break a scalpel, I need to know immediately. If you see a broken scalpel, I need to know immediately. See what I'm saying here? Yes. Or right, what phylum do these segmented worms belong to? Who remembers? Uh, Anna. Lydia. Lydia. Analida, very good. Analida. There's no I at the end, so just Analida. Remember, they have segments. They have the bristles, the setae. Here's the clam worm with its massive setae. Here's the setae for this one. This one's really cool. There's this proboscis sticking all out. It's got a pharynx. You have a pharynx. It's a tube in your throat. It's lame. It does nothing but sit there and be a tube. Segment of worms, the analids, their pharynx is muscular. It comes out. It's what they eat with, like alien style. Yeah. You guys are going to get to see yours when you do your dissection. We're going to do common night crawler, the earthworm, fish bait. You get them at Walmart. Everybody take your hand, pat your back. Go on, do it, pat your back. Especially Vanessa. Do it! Right now. There we go. Right now you're touching, keep doing it. I didn't say stop. Right now you're touching your dorsal side, your back. Your dorsal side. Listen. The worm, the dorsal side, is the darker side. It's darker because right up the side has a blood vessel. Down here, you may even see the blood vessel. You see a thin black line? Yeah. That's the blood vessel. It's full of blood. You're most likely going to nick it when you open it. Don't worry about it. If you get down, when you get down to here, if you see a whole bunch of black goo, then you're way too deep with the scalpel. You need to pull up a little bit because you're cutting its intestine open. <laughs> you're going to make your cut on the dorsal side about two centimeters past this structure here. This is called the clitellum. You're going to start at the mouth, you're going to cut it all the way down here. Once you hit the intestine, the rest of the body is all intestine, so there's no need to keep going. The clitellum is a really interesting organ. What sex, how can you tell what sex your worm is? is the yeah, they're both they're hermaphrodites. Yeah, they're hermaphrodites. They're a perfect hermaphrodite. The clitellum helps with their sexual reproduction. It produces this like filmy, lubricating stuff. They get in a big worm pile, they roll around on each other, they shoot their sperm all over all the other worms. They all suck it up. Everybody rub your belly. Rub your belly. Especially the twins. Yeah, the, Joey, are you rubbing your belly? Yeah. You're, right now you're rubbing your whole ventral side. This, whole, this is your ventral side. The ventral side of the worm is a lot thinner. You can actually see some of its sex organs sticking out. Right around uh, segment 15 through 26, these are sex organs. These ones over here are seminal receptacles. All the worms are male and female. They take the sperm from all the worms. They store them in their seminal receptacles here. They store them on the inside. They make a big sperm-like slurry with it. And then they impregnate themselves. They self-impregnate using the sperm they've stored later on. They lay a little worm eggs. So little worm the mother is. Yeah. yeah, you never know who the father. It could even be you. No, we're not the father. Oh, so they could give birth to their own kid? They put, maybe. <laughs> That'd be possibly. <laughs> right? So this is the ventral side. This is the side you're not going to cut. Again, there's the clitellum. Once you cut it, you have to do a few things. It's not going to look like this right away. You're going to have to take your scalpel. You cut it open. Then you need to take the forceps. It's a two-person job. You take the forceps. 
you pinch the skin away. Everybody see these little lines here? Yeah. Those are called the septa. Those are little strings that attach the skin to the organ. You'll pull on it, you'll be pulling the organs. One person pulls it with a scalpel, preferably both sides with both scalpels. The other person takes the scalpel and just cuts all the septa. Everybody see this black line here? Yeah. Guess what that is? Intestine. The cut. It's on the intestine. This whole thing's the intestine. The black line, blood that's vessel? the dorsal nerve, or sorry, that's the dorsal blood vessel. It goes all the way up here. You see a big muscular bulge right here. A lot of people start the cut here, so when you're done, you might need to cut the rest of the way up. Right here, this is where the pharynx will be. This tube that's kind of blurry right here, this is the esophagus. All these white bits, those are its sex organs. Underneath that, you have the crop and the gizzard and then the intestine. I find it's easiest to identify the digestive organs by starting with the intestine and working your way up. The procedures, guess where they are? In, our paper. Paper. In the lab manual, the procedures, everybody needs to get one out. Everyone. The reason is one person gets the procedures with the steps, the other person opens up to the page pass with the diagram, so you've got everything to look at. The procedures walk you through identifying these organs and filling out the packets that you guys got out. Make sure you're doing that all together. By the end of the day today, you should have the front and back of the first page pretty much done. This is our only day with the worm. If there's enough time, you'll be able to remove all the digestive and sexual organs. You'll be able to see it's nephridia. What are those? Um, kidneys. It's little kidneys. See this white line on the bottom? Yeah. That's its belly. It's got a ventral nerve cord. Your nerve cord's dorsal. Everybody else except phylum chordata, it's ventral. And you might even see the ventral blood vessel. And maybe even, there's little white dots here. Those are its brains. Sweet. It's it has really multiple? A, they don't really have brains. They don't really have hearts. They have a pseudo brain and a pseudo heart. Questions? Fake heart. Fake heart. All right. Did you guys notice the pins? See how you don't see the pin heads? Yeah. You need to stick them in at a really right. extreme angle. Really extreme angle. You guys get into partnerships. I'm going to kill the worms. Get the lights, Sam. Stop the recording. That's I good.